I want to review five barbershop bedroom scents in order from least to best in my experience. So I've reviewed all five of these. When I call these barbershop scents, I mean you buy them normally in a barbershop. There's something that will be splashed on the back of your neck or on your face after a shave, and uh, you would make this part of your barbershop experience. So number five of the Bay Rums is Lestray Bay Rum. It has subtle hits of vanilla to it, which really make it unique to the Bay Rums in this list. But it's at number five because the smell is virtually unperceptible. You really have to hold the bottle up to your nose, at least I did, to smell it. And that's a shame. I, I don't know if it was just my nose at that particular day that made it virtually impossible to smell, although I used it a number of different times and I never really picked up much during that. You can check out the review, some of my very first review for this channel. Um, but there just wasn't anything there. And so it's a shame. I, I, I can see how this was a really great Bay Rum, but somewhere along the line, I'm guessing it got super diluted. Number four on the list is uh, Stefan's Bay Rum. Uh, this one tends to be a little spicier, a little clovier, and it's uh, a little more syrupy. And Stefan's, I like a lot of the products. Their clones tend to be give or take for me because they have a little bit, bit of a syrupy note to them. Great skin conditioner. So number four, Stefan's. Number three, Master Well Bay Rum, rummy, not too clovey, smokiness, very nice, but it takes about 15 seconds for that fragrance to really come forward. It's a bit of, mess, bit of a mess before that. But if you enjoy a nice smoky bay rum, check out the review and see, see what you think. Number two and number one are actually toss-ups because either one is fantastic as far as I'm concerned, although they have their drawbacks. So I'm gonna start with number two, although it's my actually my personal favorite because I have a great deal of sentimental attachment to it, is Gable's Bay Rum. Gable's Bay Rum is a wonderful Bay Rum because it's very natural. You can actually feel the, the essential oils in it and I'll tell you what I mean by that. And it smells great. Rummy, a little bit clovey, no smokiness, buttery almost a buttery, buttery, butterscotch sweetness in there, which makes the experience really nice. The drawbacks to it, virtually no conditioners, right? And because there's, there's some natural oils in there, the skin's actually kind of a little, just has a little bit of stickiness for the first few minutes. Uh, but it, it has a real soft place in my heart, so that's the one I use. I would really pr push that one during warmer months because it's really gonna do well during the heat compared to number one which is Clubman Virgin Island Bay Rum. This one has much a nicer conditioners. It's um, not super clovey. It's got a little smoky to it. It's just a much richer Bay Rum than almost all of them. And this one I think would pop really well during the winter. I think it would work during those winter months. Otherwise, that, that smokiness and some of those richer notes might be a little bit cloying in the summertime heat. So that's my top five barbershop bay rums. Thank you very much for stopping by. Feel free to check out the individual re reviews of each, and I'll see you next time.